Look, Taylor Swift wannabe, you suck. Lost and all alone. Who are you? It's me, Ian. The way you really treated you today, that was horrible. That's every day for me. I have something I want you to see. The Rockville talent show's coming up. A talent show? Well, you'll need all the help you can get, just not from me. My mother would never speak to me that way. Harsh stuff, but a, a good lesson to be learned. Stand Up and Speak Out is a musical about, as you probably could tell, the effects of bullying. Well, a musical version of the movie, which is based on the musical that you put together years ago. Do I have it right? You have it right. I'm confused. It's coming to the Kate and Old Saybrook in May. Happy to have uh, producer and co-director Jill Nessie. Alexis, I'm going to butcher your name. Le Rivier. Le, Le yes, Close? Le Rivier. Le Rivier. <laughs> They did all right. Nice to have you both here. Take us, we'll start with you, Jill. Uh, take us through back in 2016 when you started to put this together. Why? Because of the way um, people have, have become not nice to each other yeah. and the meanness that uh -huh. we've, we've dealt with, especially with school aged children. The world's Boy. become a little divisive, hasn't it? Yeah. And when you add schools to that, I remember bullying being an issue when I was growing up back in the dark ages, but, uh, you know, it's gotten. <laughs> I, I want to say it's gotten a little better in terms of you know face to face stuff, but now you have cyberbullying, you have all other kinds, and mm -hmm. and so in a way it's manifested, right? Yep. So enter yep. enter the idea to do stand up and speak out. Uh, it started as a musical you were putting together uh, a few years ago. Yeah, it was a musical showcase. Okay, but what we saw was the movie, and why'd you put the movie together? Because of COVID. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they said because here's the thing: they want to get the word out. Uh, they want to show that this musical is obviously uh, has some deep lessons to learn. Talk about, Alexis, uh, talk about the plot. And, and we saw some, some tough stuff, not even mm -hmm. just from other, other kids, from, from parents as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the show, I mean, it is honest in its, um, you know, showing of what bullying is because it's so much more than kids being mean to each other. Mm -hmm. It's what's happening at home that manifests into that. And oftentimes kids don't even realize it. Yeah. And so, um, you know, not to give anything away, but it, it really comes full circle and the kids help each other realize that the way that they're being treated mm -hmm. is not not okay. Uh, they've been touring this throughout schools for the last few years, COVID notwithstanding. Jill, what's the response from when kids see this? Uh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And we have a 49-page activity en enrichment educational mm -hmm. guide that goes along with sure. it. Sure. Um, because it can trigger feelings and Absolutely. That they need to express. One little scene can go, oh, wait a second. Yeah. And as to Alexis's point, you go, oh, I, you know, I don't, didn't even realize I was getting bullied, but it, but it can be. Mm -hmm. uh, what else is addressed in the show? Is cyberbullying uh, part of it as well? Yes. You see? So everything, yeah. even modern times, covered. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love, you got 20, uh, how many songs? 20 or 19? 18. 18. <laughs> of <course>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a weatherman, folks. I don't have to get spot on. I'm off by one. It's still good. 18 songs, all uh, put together by a, a name that we know around here, right? Nick Fradiani Sr. So yeah. I wrote um, uh -huh. the music. Uh -huh. uh, we, Nick and I have written together uh -huh. a few songs, and Nick right. has his own song in the, in the play as Fantastic. well. And then Mike's song also, also has a song in the play now. A excellent. So it's yeah. kind of been, you know, you kind of adjusted it a little bit. You had a couple of years off, and so you, you freshened it up a yeah. bit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Uh, it's uh, The show's going to be shown at uh, the Old Saybrook, uh, at, in Old Saybrook, at the Kate, but tickets are Sold out already? Sold out already. Really? So you got to add some more shows. Absolutely. Right, and our, our director, Nick Rapuano, mm -hmm. uh, rewrote this new script. Okay. Which is more of a, give, a modern I want to give Nick credit. Show. And uh, lest you think that uh, this is just like, you know, Jill's idea from, from years and years ago. Uh, Alexis, how, how old are you? Are you uh, not, right now, you're not supposed to ask a woman that, but I'm going to. So how don't ask you? me that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're next. Yeah. 19 years old. 19 years old and mm -hmm. uh, co-directing. First time? Yes. What do you What do you study? What do you want to be, be when you get out of college? Um, I'd love to be a casting director. Definitely on this side of it. It was so cool uh -huh. to be part of the production this time because I started as the showcase mm -hmm. in 2016. Plus, you can identify with the stuff because oh, it's still absolutely. kind of fresh in, in, in your mind. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the show is Stand Up and Speak Out. Uh, no matter how good it is, Jill Nessie's not going to tell you how old she is, <laughs> uh, which is good. And uh, the, the performances are in, in May, uh, going around schools before then. So if you're 
you're interested, uh, we'll have the link at fox61.com. We'll show you how you can get it into your school, and that way more kids can see and learn. Nice to see you both. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you both. Thank you. We appreciate you.